hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to run python code inside your browser without using javascript so basically python programs are generally not run on the browser side so this is a Python uh, library that you can find on internet so you need to go to google here and you will type here Python. so just search on Python here on google and the very first link which comes in this is a website here brighton.info so basically this is a library by which you can just run javascript or python code on the browser so you can even download this library onto your local machine so click on the download option and then you will be downloading the zip file of the latest version so this is a zip file just click on it and it will download it as a zip file onto your computer so so this is a folder so you will find here just cut this folder and uh, paste this folder wherever you are creating your project let me just delete this files here so if you just extract this folder let me just paste that zip folder and if you extract all here like this so basically it will extract all the contents which is present inside this folder so you will find this uh, files here which are present so these are the two libraries that you will need here inside your application brython and brython underscore standard library so i am here inside my editor here so i will write this program from scratch so this is your index.html file so just create a empty template so here just give it a title of uh, brython and uh, as i already told you these are the two libraries python underscore standard library dot js and brython dot js and now first of all you need to include script source brython dot js so first library you need to include this and secondly you need to include your uh, brython Uh, underscore standard library dot js so i have already included these two libraries here you can see that now we will create a simple button i have i will give it the id of btn let's suppose so that i can just target it inside the python code now after this inside our body we will be giving a onload event so when the content loads here we will be executing this function which is brython so this is mentioned in the documentation of the website you can just check out so you need to invoke this function in order to execute the python code now we will write our python script right here so the script type here will be you need to also give it here type will be uh, script slash python let me just check the documentation so this is a documentation if you click on tutorial uh, you will find this program here which is written here in the inside your body you need to call this brython function here you can see that this needs this needs to be text not script so just change this to text now we will just write something on the body here so basically let me just refresh the application you will see a button here which is present inside it let me also give it a label this needs to be button if i refresh you will see that this is my button and now if i want to write anything inside my body first of all i need to import some modules so i will import i will just follow the python syntax so from browser we will import some modules first of all we will import the document module with the help of which we can just write anything to the dom so in order to write something on the dom we will be writing the syntax document and then arrow is equal to and here you just need to write something on the body let's suppose hello world 
now if you refresh uh, I think that we have made a mistake this needs to be greater than sign not or smaller than sign so if I refresh you will see that you will be finding this hello world is printed out on the screen so this is a very easy way by which you can just write anything on the screen so we are doing this without JavaScript we are doing it with the Python code you can see that if I change this hello world this is hello world and now basically we have a button now in order to bind a on click event handler to it we can just first of all need to select this button so we can just do that by document and here we just need to pass the ID that we have given to the button in this case we have given btn like this so in javascript we have used the function get element by id but inside python we will use the syntax and now after selecting the button we will use the bind method in order to bind a event handler so we will pass the event handler which we are binding in this case we are binding the click event handler and second is a function so so the function name will be show and in python you need to declare the function before you use it so we will be defining it at the top like this def def show colon and next we will be making use of the alert statement please close the window like this and now basically if I refresh it if I hit the button nothing will happen because we are using this alert module without importing it so we also need to import this so comma alert so now if I refresh this program will work if I click button you will see that please close the window so now we are also successfully binding the event handlers on buttons also and now if I just show you if I want to make use of the console as well let's suppose I need to console log anything I can just use console module and then we can just use console log statement as we did inside javascript so i can also inspect element here go to console and here if i click button you will see that it will pass me this object which will contain all the information about this event object so you can print out values in the console also so in this easy way guys you can just uh, build out a simple python program and run it inside your browser with the help of this Python library so I will be making tutorials in the future about this Python library so please make sure that you like this video subscribe the channel to follow along with these videos so I will be seeing you in the next video